Happy New Year, guys. I hope you had a wonderful holiday season. Um, it's going to be a wonderful new year. Oh my gosh, the sun just came out as I said that. Oh, wow, this beautiful golden glow is filling the room. Holy cow. Um, okay, so I'm doing... Uh, yeah? What? <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll do that. Thank you. She said she wants to do a pet message as part of this reading too, because I was just going to tell you I'm doing it differently. Thank you, honey. Um, so yeah. So what do you think of this spread? Um, so this is the, <coughs> this is the bi biweekly masculine report. And if you hear the chimes outside going off like crazy, it's because it's windy as heck right now. So, um, that could be, um, that could definitely be a sign for some of you. Also, um, if you guys want to, no, never mind. I thought I'm going to do that in a different way. So never mind. I said that. <laughs> okay. So we're going to take a look at these guys right now and I'm going to set this microphone up so I don't have to hold it and I can just look at these cards for a minute. All right. Right now, your masculine is trying really hard to use every tool in the book that he knows to break free and be independent of anybody else and do what it is that he truly wants to do. Um, so that may imply that over the holidays, he was being a people pleaser. They usually are. They usually do, at least in the in the, you know, the runner phase while they're still running away from love and they're not ready to embrace it fully yet. So, but that's awesome. I mean, they're, that means that they could be meditating. They could be talking to friends. They could be, you know, collect, I just got collecting support. So um, they probably are talking to other people, but people who only, who totally support them and are kind of Rebels for love themselves, and Annie just jumped up on the table, which is confirmation for those of you who are new. Um, and also, if you don't know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the divine masculine and whatnot, you can always uh, take a look at my playlist all about true love and look for a talk that says the different types of true love. So, <clears throat> the divine masculine basically runs away. Uh, for a certain period of time, um, the separation period, and the feminine has to try to figure out what the heck is going on in their masculine's mind for that period of time because they won't talk, <laughs> which is why I have a um, why I have a deck that's called the uh, the mini ghoster deck. Uh, yeah, so notes from your beloved ghoster. Okay. <clears throat> so he is trying to do his own thing. He's trying to break apart from anybody else because he knows he'll have success with you. Wild success. In fact, I feel like that bird in the picture with the nine of pentacles, that's wish fulfillment. But there's a if a bird has been appearing to you lately, uh, that's what I feel like that's going to be confirmation for you. And with that magician... There's something about, I just got solar powered. <laughs> solar, He's a solar powered magician. So he wants to have, maybe he, maybe he feels empowered by the sun. Maybe he feels like he shares energy with the sun. Um, you know, maybe he feels like he has a little spillover from, from joy that he wants to share with you, feminine. Um, and she's wearing a white dress. So there's a purity and, 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 and an innocence to her. Um, yeah, so that's how he's seeing you right now. And he has a lot of regret. He either has a lot of regret for giving you too little. Like if he did contact you, he feels like it wasn't enough. Like it wasn't even close to enough, or he feels like it was really stupid, really, <laughs> you know, like whatever he said, he almost wants to apologize for like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that's what I said. Or I can't believe I did that, you know, drunk, or I can't believe like he's, he's, or he didn't send you a message at all. And he's just thinking to himself, what could I have said? I could have said this, I could have said that, but I'm such a damn people pleaser 
that, you know, I didn't even take a minute to step aside and actually make a phone call to you or actually leave you some kind of a sweet message or, you know, do, do something special for you. Or I just heard, could have sent you flowers, could have sent you flowers, could have, you know, done something as a major wink, you know, to let you know that we are on the same team. We are, we are thinking the same thing. We are both wanting the same thing. And I love you. And although circumstances are not permitting it right now, you know, I really do. You are my everything. And I had the, what was that song I had stuck in my head yesterday? Yeah, um, you're, um, you're every woman in the world to me. That was, that's the song that was stuck in my head yesterday. Um, so he really does in his heart space, he really does want to balance this out. And he's been going back and going, you know, back and forth and back and forth on whether he should send you something or not. Um, he's not quite sure what he would say in terms of an apology, but he does want to say something that puts a smile on your face and makes you feel good about you guys again. He really wants to lift you up and he's done. He's so sick and tired of who do I please now? You know, who do I put first now? And it's not going to be my true love. You know, he's tired of going back and forth and back and forth in terms of like tossing and turning at night too. And he wants to be done with this chapter in his life where he's just hemming and hawing and being uncertain and not really listening to his intuition like he knows he should do. And he's he's like ignoring all the signs and synchronicities. And he really... I feel like he also might have a woman in his life who's all about money and he knows it. And he's just like, I know how this goes if I go down this road. Like, this is like, why am I still listening to this person? You know, why am I still allowing my life to be led by money? Why or greed, somebody greedy. So he wants that to be over and he wants to be celebrating. And he wants to put you on your rightful throne. He wants to put you, he wants to be done with the freaking regret once and for all. <laughs> He's sick and tired of feeling bad about this connection. And he really does want to just sit down with you and have a heart to heart and hold your hand and be like, you know what? Oh, you know, I, I just, I really blew it. And I hope you'll hear me out. And I hope that you'll still see that I am your wish fulfillment because I think we could be really happy together. And I would love to to travel with you. And here, now here comes Nala. I would love to travel with you. I'd like to continue to help you feel abundant and assured. And um, what was that? Um, assured and like it kind of just like I've got your back like you don't have to worry about anything I've got you know I've got you now our faith should always be in God not a person just thought I'd throw that in there because we really are in um, a time of testing God really wants us to not learn, lean on money or people your true love if true love is all you talk about or money is all you talk about or any of that, you're leaning on the wrong thing. You really need to be being present in the moment with God. Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> you really do. God's pressing a point here. So, um, yeah. So, you know, go into it. He's going intuitively. Um, he's going intuitively and in because he knows instinctively that you are his wish fulfillment. And he wants to take that blindfold off. And um, there might be something about black magic, putting the blindfold on him in the first place, because those crows sometimes can be black magic. Um, not always, not always, but they, those crow, crows or ravens sometimes can just be mysterious. They can be about mystery. And so sometimes I just feel like the, you know, those, these in particular may have been putting the, the blindfold on the gal or making sure she didn't, she couldn't figure out a way to take the blindfold off. So, um, so it's possible that either you or your masculine were targeted by black magic. However, um, spirit is saying to me that it was lifted. If it, if that did happen, it was lifted and you're now free. Uh, it was just like a temporary hold back because there was some kind of a powerful energy through the holidays that they didn't want your masculine taking advantage of. So they put a kibosh on that and it worked. 
if if he didn't contact you or you guys didn't come together and have your wonderful reunion, then it then your masculine failed the test, um, which would mean that there's also some consequences for him, because um, when they when the whenever well we just get another opportunity we just get another opportunity that's that's more what I'm trying to say here not a punishment but just like okay you haven't learned your lesson yet to choose love you haven't had enough faith yet to put your you know faith in the right things so here we go and here's we're gonna show you we're gonna show you so and sometimes the showing you can be painful or can be really hard to get through but you'll learn the lesson in the end God is trying to teach your masculine a lesson and no matter what lengths God has to go to, to have them mature and grow and see um, love in the right way, then, you know, God will do it. So in the future, um, it looks like he really does want to manifest coming out from hiding. And he's going to be listening to his intuition and he's going to be led by the fire of his passion for you. And it looks like he's going to get on that surfboard and go across that ocean, no matter how far it is. He's not really going to care how long it takes or what he's got to get on or, you know, what he's got to ride, whether it be a boat, a yacht, um, a cruise ship, <laughs> you know, or hop on the back of a bird. and <laughs> Whatever it is, it's like he, I feel like there's an element of daydreaming about that. And he may have even actually had an intuitive dream of being taken no matter what teleporting you know or whatever to where he was like oh my gosh kind of surprised that he was able to manifest an answer or a solution for this um there's also i'm noticing at the bottom of the moon card <clears throat> there's like a reflection the water is you know the light is the moon of the light the light of the moon is so bright that it's reflecting on the bottom of the ocean and it's actually really beautiful so it could be that things that, that made him feel insecure about your connection before, his his bad side, his wicked side, his evil side, his ugly side. Um, he may actually be learning to see those things as rather magical or sweet or kind or you know what? You know, I may have thought back when that the reason that I did this was because of that, but you know, I you know, I gotta cut myself some slack because you know, I was actually a really good hearted person that I did that, that I even had the faith to try that or that I even, you know, I think they're in the future, they're realizing the, they're starting to see the power that they have to make themselves feel good and give themselves a little boost of confidence when needed. And that's part of what what's helping fuel them because it, it may have been inspired by you. Maybe they saw something in you, like you turned an ugly into a beautiful somehow. You know, that maybe you, um, your attitude and your positive outlook have helped him to realize that the the gold and the silver out there <clears throat> is really in our hearts. You know, it's not, not, it's not a tangible thing that you can put your hands on. It's, it's something that grows within you and gives you faith and courage and, and the willingness to follow God's lead no matter what it urges you to do, you know. Um, cause whenever we do follow our hearts like that, we will be rewarded. Now I say that all the time and I've said that forever, but it's just true. And some of you masculines who, who kind of spy on your feminines, which you are spying by the way, that nine of pentacles over there to the left, that's an implication also that your masculine has been spying on you and being that the magicians next to it, it could be that, Either he is seeing something illusory about what he's spying on you about, like he's he's seeing things wrong. Possibly, he could be misunderstood. Yeah, and and one of the cat knowledge just cried at the top of the stairs, which is confirmation. Um, so it's like he could be thinking he could be sp spying on you and thinking that you're no longer single, and wanting to make you single, <laughs> like. I don't know how he would be doing that, but, you know, maybe he's, he's, a, or he's afraid that you are, um, in illusion or he's feeling like, yeah, something, some kind of an illusory, like something is in possibly an illusion, 
which could, might mean that I don't know so, something that he's seeing, even something in a picture or something like I don't know what that would be, but but there's but there could be something that he's been seeing or that you've even sent him or anything like that that he thinks um it's not like it's like uh it makes me think of like uh it's just makeup or it's just made up or something like that. So, um, or he's making it up or something like that. Anyway, so, um, he doesn't want, he really does want to manifest coming together. He's really tired of daydreaming about this connection. He thinks about you all the time and he's constantly going back and forth on like, what would be the most fulfilling way, the most exciting way, the most, the most heartfelt way that I could apologize for all the things that I've done and get this part over with and get us both feeling really good and getting us past the regret to manifest our our wishes come true because we have two cards the nine of pentacles and the nine of cups that talk about wish fulfillment so that's each of you he knows that each of you he or she knows because it's not a sex it's not a gender thing um he knows that both of you will both have your dreams come true and that both of you will be quite elated Nala, Nala, come here, honey. Come here, love. She's just sitting at the top of the stairs crying. You know, that that actually, <laughs> that's kind of making me think of some of the masculines might be doing that too. Just crying at a distance. Love me, love me. And you're like, well, if you would do something, I totally would. Like, you know, how many times have I actually done something and put myself out there and been completely vulnerable trying to share with you my heart and where I'm at, what my thoughts are, what I'm planning, what I'm thinking. You know, the feminines have been with their heart on their sleeves this whole time. The masculines barely even make an effort to, you know, they're so, they're, they're doing it from their little turtle shell. Anything that the masculines have done has just been barely breadcrumbs you know, totally within their own comfort zone. The only thing going outside of their comfort zone is maybe their little paw reaching out, you know, and that's it. The rest of them is completely, totally protected in that turtle shell, which is ridiculous because you've just been totally putting yourself out there vulnerably like this whole time. So Nala, can you come down here? If you want some loving or you want some attention, you come down here. Oh, what a good girl. You such a good girl. Yeah, my little love. I wanted you down here with me too. See, that's that was totally symbolic. That was a perfect demonstration. Thank you, Nala. So yeah, they're thinking about you a lot and they're thinking about how wonderful it would have been if back when they were at some kind of a crossroads if they wouldn't have been so fickle, if they wouldn't have been confused, if they would have truly been listening to their intuition and they would have been loyal to you, how much joy you guys could be in right now. What a wonderful, beautiful situation you guys could be in right now instead of, you know, just having, just having this constantly uh, burden them and torture them. Okay, anything else that these cards want to say to us? I really look at that Queen of Pentacles, and I feel like they, they just want you to be rest assured. They want you to know that all is well. It's all going to be okay. They want to wrap their arms around you. I just saw them like come up behind you and kiss you on the neck and just be like, you know, you're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. And I just feel like there's so much passion there. How many flames is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six is lovers. So what, what, what came to me the other day about making love? I don't know. They want to prove to you that they love you warts and all. Um, and something about, yeah, sending flowers to your door. Sending flowers to your door. All right. So, um, let me take a look at some, I've got the, uh, the tea cards in front of me here. So we're going to switch over to these right now. Okay. So I got the tulip, great passion, 
the gong, an exciting event, target, a goalie-oriented person, pay attention to your health with cane, bread, period of prosperity and abundance, and horse, short journey. So, yeah, it, uh, let's see. Hama she in ke in sase. Hele pum puma ana ai. Wow, these all look like very wonderful things. Oh, and I feel like they're going to be, oh, with that target, I felt like they are going to figure out exactly the perfect thing to do to make things right by you. And it's going to, and it's going to be, it's going to take a short journey. But it's going to be an exciting event. And when I was um, when I was shuffling the tea cards, I actually saw in my mind announcement, the word announcement. Oh, interesting. And I just picked up a word. I mean, I just picked up a, a card randomly, and it's the crib, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. So... And then I just look, I'm looking at the cards, receive a gift box. You will receive a gift. <laughs> okay. All right. So waiting for news package or a letter, a bird perched. Okay. So I just added three cards to this spread. <laughs> Spirit. Spirit always knows what it's doing and it always gets the message across. It needs to. Okay. So, yeah, so you're sitting there waiting for news, a package, or a letter with this great passion, and you're paying attention to your health, um, and Spirit is letting you know there is a gift on its way, and it is going to hit it on the mark in terms of making things up to you. It's going to be very exciting for you. Someone will have taken a short journey, or you will be invited to take a journey, and it's going to be during a period of great prosperity and abundance for you. It's either going to be because of your masculine or maybe you're going to come into a bunch of abundance or just feel like you're you're feeling pretty darn abundant. And seeing the abundance card here along with pay attention to your health might have something to do with med beds. Um maybe you bought a med bed, you know the the human kind. <laughs> um or you know something like that could be making you feel better about yourself and about things and so you know maybe you're getting better rest or something like that but it's it just feels like turning a corner is what I feel turning in a, a corner and with that gong is an announcement about some kind of an exciting event um uh, uh, the announcement could be about great passion it could be news with that bird it could be news about an exciting event about a, the birth of your relationship um and a gift you're being given of of you know, a, I don't know, a child or an enterprise, or it could be different for everyone, or maybe a horse. Holy cow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear this, but that's like really intense right now. Holy cow. <laughs> so wonderful things up ahead, it looks like. Um, so God is there. I feel like a blessing coming on. Like God wants me to say a blessing, but I don't. Let me just figure. Let me do the blessing and we'll see what comes out with it. Hang on. So they're trying to melt the divine feminine's uh, defenses a bit because this is going to take a lot of courage and um, a, a huge leap of faith for these masculines to perform whatever this is. So, um, it, you know, if you got your arms crossed feminines and you got a little bit of an attitude, then do your best to soften the attitude and to really open your heart because everything does happen in perfect divine timing. God knows what he's doing or what it's doing. And it's not, it's, you know, it, if it hasn't happened yet, it wasn't supposed to for whatever reason. And God's just asking you to trust that. And don't hold a grudge. And even if they told you something before and they didn't follow through with it, it wasn't the right time yet. You know, just trust that. Trust the timing of this. Um, because it's going to unfold and blossom really beautifully in a way that's going to be even better than it, than than what you would have experienced before. Um, the making it up to you, the making it up to you is going to be phenomenal. Um, I'm ashamed to say, Lapa in Kehena an 
Oh, and they're and they're explaining to the masculines like you're going to breathe a sigh of relief getting this over with and finally and and God is waiting to reward you and give you that reward um of having done the right thing you know you're going to feel so much better and you're going to you're going to finally have all this behind you and um something about the love had to overcome the fear the love ultimately had to overcome the fear so all those flames that we were seeing in the original slide um, that's what finally was, it's like they're, you've been the fuel to their fire. You've been the fuel to their fire. And then I just picked the table card, hard work ahead. So, um, you inspire them, you inspire them maybe to put a bunch of work into something. Maybe this passion project you guys might be involved with or something like that. He's, you've basically given your masculine a feeling of a, a second chance or a second wind or a, a way that he can recreate himself and uh, make himself new again. So, um, and then I just looked at once you choose hope, anything is possible. Okay, so you've given your masculine hope, you've lit his fire, and now now he's going to be unstoppable. Now you guys together, working together as a team, are going to be unstoppable. Okay, so now I feel a message from Mary Magdalene coming on. Hang on. You know, I went to put these cards away and uh, Spirit said, for some of you, this is somebody that you haven't, that hasn't been your primary focus as your true love. It could be somebody who kind of sneaks up on you and is like, by the way, I I have it all planned. Here's how I see our life being. And you're going to just light up like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? This is perfect. This is exactly the way that I wanted my life to go. So, um, you know, this may not be the, the true love you think it is, possibly. So I just thought I'd put that out there. I'm going to pull a Mary Magdalene card now. For some of you, I just saw someone arriving uh, or somebody packing up a suitcase like they were going on a work trip. Um, yeah, they had a suit on. So maybe they're going to... When they approach you, it's going to be either about work or a work proposal. Or they're going to tell everybody that they're going on a work project, you know, and they're going to come see you instead or, you know, whatever that whatever that might mean for you. Okay, the prophet. All unfolds in perfect time. <laughs> That's so funny because <laughs> I just said that. And all you need to know is revealed at the most perfect moment. Be patient and trust for angelic forces are at work in your life right now. Feel the presence of the goddess within you. Ask her to clear your mind so that you may hear her guidance within your heart. See, so you got to get out of that. Any, anybody's, everybody, everybody's got to get it out of their resentment or anger or any of that. Clear your mind and drop into your heart. We always have to do that no matter what we're facing that's negative. The goddess speaks through feelings that stir within you. So that fire is really stirring within the masculine and within you. And they're encouraging you, or Mary Magdalene is encouraging you to feel her pull your heartstrings as she bathes you in her healing light. So that kind of feels like the moment when your masculine actually does something really amazing to try to make things up to you. And she's pulling on your heartstrings like, look at what this took for him or her to do this. You know, acknowledge this moment because this is a moment for you guys to come together and to heal this. You will receive a sudden inspiration when you least expect it. And this will lead you to the most positive outcome. Be prepared for a pleasant surprise. So I feel like that's your masculine with that sudden inspiration and that incredible idea that's been given to him by God because we knew there was something intuitive coming in the future. Um, so, he, he, you know, it, I just saw him like um, being at a desk or something and all of a sudden raising his head and saying, oh my gosh, I know exactly what to do. And then it's going to be rather shocking for you. Rather shocking. Okay, so I'm going to get a spirit animal, and I think we're going to be about done, and I'll do a blessing for you guys here at the end, too. I kind of like this because I can really reflect and feel it out and pause it, and, and so there's not, you know, I like it. 
You don't have to wait for me to look a number up. <laughs> it's kind of nice. Okay, so crow spirit. How funny that we talked about the crow, and then here it is. Okay, co-create with spirit. As you look around you, you can, can you sense the magic that pulses through the world? Have you witnessed how every thought can become a thing? How every intention can call the universe into action as the sacred laws shape what you experience? The universe works in perfect order. When you align your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs with spirit, you will want to crow with delight, feeling the excitement and wonder of being in harmony with something much larger than yourself. Crow Spirit says, you're right on target. There's that target again. Now, to see your dreams magically come into being in the, in the visible world. Wow, right? Holy cow. The laws of abundance, compensation, frequency, and praise are operating in your favor now. Remember to be grateful and praise what is yours, even if it's still coalescing into form, still residing in the invisible realms of co-creation. No matter what area of your life you're concerned with now, what you hope for is on its way, for spirit is your co-creation partner. Thank you, God. Okay, <clears throat> now it also has a protection message. Crow Spirit wants to know why you think there is no magic in the world. Or do you believe that there once was, but it ran out, leaving nothing but ordinariness? Although conditions have become challenging, you have no reason to believe that everything you've set into intention for for uh you've set an intention for will elude you. Right now the outer world is shifting. Can you feel it? Maybe you are fretting about experiencing the results of some of your poor choices or judgment from the past. But Crow Spirit is here to remind you that you can always course correct and get back on track. Wow, I was getting that message big time yesterday about how just make the best decision that you can using your intuition. Even in terms of I was talking about the St. Germain thing, God was saying just make your best step forward. And the minute, you know, you can make a wrong decision, and in that moment, course correct. So this is coming up again. Yeah, so Crow Spirit is here to remind you that you can always course correct and get back on track. Maybe you've been hit by a loss or disappointment as a result of an event that has absolutely nothing to do with your manifesting, yet it has shaken you to your core. Holy cow. That's just happened to me as well. This is crazy. <laughs> Crow Spirit asks you to trust that no matter the temporary conditions, and they are temporary, by the way. I've been pulling that card a lot lately, too, from the World Truth Cards. Things will right themselves very soon. The law of balance makes it inevitable that this, too, shall pass. Wow. So if you've been through anything like I've been going through, then this, too, shall pass, my friend. Okay, so Grasshopper Spirit also <clears throat> jumped in here. Take a leap of faith. Right now, you are poised to jump into the next level, level of your life and move forward into something even better than you could have ever imagined. Wow, I said that too. Um, that, it might, that it's going to be a pleasant surprise and more than you could have ever imagined or better than you could have ever imagined. When grasshopper spirit appears, it is, for, is a fortuitous time to take a leap of faith into the unknown. For grass, isn't this so symbolic? I, I've been saying for so long, too, that true love and our world circumstances go hand in hand right now. So um, it's a fortuitous time to take a leap of faith into the unknown. Everything's unknown right now, right? For grasshopper spirit represents the innovative spirit that says, why not? And has faith in the powers of co-creation. You are being called to trust that this is the right time to go with that idea, relationship, or situation. Take risks. For abundance in all forms will show up for you. Wow. Wondrous things await when, grand, uh, when grasshopper spirit appears. You are not going to go backward. So listen to your intuition rather than your fearful ego that resists any change and clings worriedly to what is. Lack is on your, luck is on your side. Jump in and forward with confidence for spirit has so much in store for you uh, if you only take that leap. 
Now, I actually feel like that was no mistake. It never really is when you're channeling. But lack is on your side in the sense that this worry and this fret and this fear has just gotten you to a bubbling point, possibly masculines, where you are just sick and tired of it. So, you know, everything always works to your advantage or benefit ultimately. Okay, um, for the protection spirit, for the protection message, is it hard for you to trust in good fortune because you've been hurt in the past when you took a risk? Staying earthbound does not offer the safety you seek, for that can only be found through trusting that spirit is always with you and wants the best for you. Your intuition is guidance from spirit telling you to let go of your fears and leap into the abundance and good fortune awaiting you. Grasshopper spirit reminds you that the only way the only way now is to jump forward. Can you be willing to trust the universe, the great mystery that you can't fully understand? Even if you take the teeniest leap in consciousness to be willing, it's a beautiful beginning. Sure, every leap of uh, every leap forward brings a new challenge, but you can handle it and spirit as your and handle it with spirit as your partner, trusting that this new experience will only deepen your life with magic and meaning. So take that leap. Wow, <laughs> I love how this is all tying together because we talked about them wanting to take that leap of faith finally. Okay, so. Now we're going to do Peacock Spirit. I was just planning on doing one, but all three came out. So, all right. Let it shine. When is the last time you shook a tail feather and shined your light for all to see? Within each of us is a Peacock Spirit yearning for expression. And you are called now to show the world the the gorgeous creature you are. For you are a manifestation of spirit. Come out from the shadows, Peacock Spirit says, and show your true colors so that others may be inspired to express their own uniqueness. Dance uh, as if you remember that you are made of stardust and grace, filled with life force energy and sparkling light. You are a channel for divine love, and your dance is one of a kind. Catch the light and help it to shimmer and dance in celebration of your good fortune, of being right here, right now. Spirit wants you to be joyful so that others may get up and dance along with you. Oh, that's so beautiful. Protection message. Are you afraid of dancing with a without dan- uh, Are you afraid of dancing with abandon because of what others might think? Do you think you might be punished if you shine too brightly? Have you been conditioned to expect to hurt if you show yourself fully to the world? Maybe not everyone will celebrate your beautiful radiance when you shine. That's okay. Peacock Spirit's here to remind you that while others may resist celebrating the beauty within them, although they may contract, uh, they may contract while you expand, contract while you expand and shake your tail feathers, smile and keep dancing anyway. Model the good fortune and abundant joy that is yours and soon someone will say, me too, and join in. Spirit loves Uh, you so much and wants you to enjoy the dance and shine your light. Wow, I just got goosebumps. Okay, so now I just felt like pulling a number. I think I'm just going to do just for a a little bit, maybe for the rest of the year, I don't know. I'm going to do a more extensive reading like this, but I'm only going to do maybe once a month. Uh, 221. The more you can stay positive in your thoughts, speech, actions, and written words, the better this experience will be for you and your loved ones. Okay, so keep it positive, guys. Trust that everything's working out exactly as it's supposed to with divine blessings or blissings for everyone involved. Let go and have faith. That was 222. Okay, guys, thank you so much for um for tuning into this with me let me know any other insights that you get i just looked at the peacock card and there's a crown oh there's a crown on the grasshopper too they're gonna feel like a king once they make that and take that leap of faith once they listen to that crow and and jump you know jump into this i feel like it's gonna be a it's gonna be you know, it, it kind of has the feeling of, you know, like, I don't know, 
I don't know. Just, just it, it, it's like a dream. If it's, I feel like kind of a dreamy energy of I don't know what I'm getting into. Whether this is going to be a nightmare or a dream, as you're falling asleep, sort of. But all of a sudden, it turns into the most wondrous dream, and the smells and the experiences and the way that you feel are like, like never to be matched. And in it's one of those dreams that you wake up from it and are like, oh my gosh, I just want to go back in. You know, I just want to go back in there. So whatever this is you guys are coming into, it's going to feel more like home than anything has ever felt before. So anyway, <laughs> have a great January and please report back. And uh, what I was going to say, share any insights that you got um, in addition to this. And I will be praying for you guys. In fact, let's do a, bl- a blessing right now. Now, the word blessed is be blessed. So that's one of the the bad guys' ways of making us less than them. So let's use bliss now. (laughs) All right. I want you to just picture that you're holding your person's hand. And looking in their eyes. Ah, oh, now I see you guys holding each other in each other's arms. Hamama anataikehenai, feeling each other's heartbeats against your chest. Ha ha ama anataike. Hala shum pomomahana naike la sanse e. Hela pomomahake insa, she she inataike. And pem pomoma oma an. I just saw you guys turn arm in arm and look at the most beautiful view you've ever seen in your life. Picture that scene for just a moment. I feel like whatever this is that you're picturing, you're actually manifesting the two of you having this moment in the future. I just heard your patience is paying off. So... It's going to be worth the wait, guys. All right. I love you guys. And wait, hang on. I just got 331. <laughs> just when I thought I was done. 331. 331. The Ascended Masters remind you that their lives were testaments to the power of positive thinking. So keep your words, spoken, written, and thought on a positive level to attract the most desirable outcome. Okay. So if you really want what everything, you know, said and predicted in this reading, then you need to keep your thoughts positive. Don't complain. Don't don't tell people the bad stuff that's going on in your, in your life or what you don't like about what's happening in our world. And all is crying again to remind us, you know, that we can go get whatever we want. We don't have to sit there and cry about it. We can have what we want and we can manifest it. We just have to keep our thoughts positive on what we want to create instead of what we don't have and what is lacking and what is um, bothering us about our lives. Okay, guys, love you so much. Sending a big, big hug. Talk to you next month. Wait, hold up. Oh, my gosh. When I started to put this video together, I remember that Annie asked me to share that pet message and Nala just jumped in front of me right now. Um. And so I pulled four cards, I pulled three cards, and there's a bottom of the deck. So um, the one on the bottom of the deck, which means it's the theme, it's the theme of the point of, that they want to make, is I think there's a spirit or other supernatural energy in our home. Have you noticed it also? Should we do a clearing, look into it more deeply? So I think I'm supposed to do a clearing to clear away any negativity in both or either of your homes. Um, now, it could mean that also this if you've been thinking that you should sage the energy from the holidays, I would highly suggest doing that so you have a fresh new start in the new year and or you can do that with the intention um, of, of, you know, cl- set the intention <laughs> to clear your home with this blessing I'm about to do. But also we have I'm so grateful for you. Thank you for allowing me in your life. Um, how can I make it better? I love when you talk to me. So maybe also, um, you know, send some reassuring, kind, loving messages to the person that you love in your mind. Just project that message to them and they will feel it on some level. 
Okay, so here's the blessing to clear your guys' homes for a fresh new start for the new year. Okay. Now let all the negativity go. See it all lifting out of your home. Any illness, any sickness, any strife, any stress, just gone, dissipating like it never happened. Remember, it was just temporary and it's coming right off in the new year. Okay, so this person you have in your life loves you just as much. They, they're feeling you. They really want to talk to you and they really want to make it better. That's a message from Annie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, have a good one. Talk to you later.